Amoebiasis. Amoebiasis is caused by Intamoeba histolytica. It is the third leading parasitic cause of death worldwide. It affects approximately 50 million people every year. The parasite exists in two forms, a motile form called the trophozoid and a cyst form. The trophozoid of the Intamoeba histolytica inhibits the large intestine to produce the lesion of the amoebic colitis. In the adverse colonic environment, the trophozoid changes to the cystic form, better adapted to the survival. Life cycle of Entamoba histolytica. At first, there is ingestion of the cysts, then encycling occurs in the small intestine. The division of the quadrinucleate cyst into four and then a trophozoid occurs. The trophozoid move to colonize the colon. Then incestation occurs and excretion of the cyst is there. Lastly, when the ingestion of cyst occurs by the patient, the cycle repeats. There are different spectrum of the illness. It ranges from asymptomatic infection to the symptomatic non-invasive infections, proctocolitis, fulminant colitis with perforation, toxic megacolon, chronic non dysentric colitis, amoeboma, perianal ulceration. The extraintestinal disease manifests as liver abscess, pleuropulmonary disease, peritonitis, pericarditis, brain abscess, and genitourinary disease. Let us discuss about amoebic liver abscess. The male to female ratio of this disease is around 10 is to 1. This abrupt onset of high fever, dull aching, constant abdominal pain in the right upper quadrant or the epigastrium. It usually lasts fewer than 10 days. The pain is constant and may radiate to the right scapula and shoulder. They may become pleuritic and may increase when the patient lies on the right side. There is anorexia, nausea and vomiting with vague abdominal discomfort, weight loss and anemia. Jaundice is unusual in this case. Investigations Leukocytosis may be noted but eosinophilia is not a feature of amoebiasis. Mild anemia may be there. The erythrocyte sedimentation rate is generally elevated. The cholesterol may be elevated. Liver function tests reveal elevated alkaline phosphatase in 80% of the patients, elevated transaminases and reduced albumin. Urine analysis may reveal proteinuria. On the stool test, light microscopy, enzyme immunoassay can be done. Ocal blood is almost always present in invasive disease. Fecal leukocytosis may be absent. On the antibody test, IHA and EIA can be done. Detection of the immunoglobulin M antibodies is generally done as well. The chest radiography may reveal elevated right hemidiaphragm and a right-sided pleural effusion in patients with amoebic liver abscess. The ultrasonography is preferred for the evaluation of the amoebic liver abscess. On CT, irregular lesions without a surrounding capsule or enhancement may be present. Metronidazole kills trophozoite of Entamoeba histolytica in intestine and tissue. It does not eradicate the cyst from the intestine. Around 35 to 50 mg per kg per day per oral or IV divided into 8 RD doses for 10 days should be given. Or tinidazole given for intestinal amoebiasis. 50 mg per kg per day should be given for the amoebic liver abscess. 50 mg per kg per day per oral can also be given. Diloxinide furate is used for eradicating the cyst. The dose is around 20 mg per kg per day per oral divided TID for 10 days. Complications There can be variety of complications which ranges from bowel perforation, GI bleeding, stricture formation, fistula formation, intersusception, secondary bacterial infection of the amoebic liver abscess, peritonitis, pericarditis, impyma, and brain abscess. Thank you. Please do like, subscribe my channel and share this video.